हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज नेहा अंतर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एन आई एम एस आई एम एस गाजीबाद यूनिवर्सिटी कोर्सिस कैंपस टूडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस ऑन टॉपिक वायरसेस वट आर वायरसेस वायरस वायरस एज यू नो इट्स अ सिंगल सेल और अ मल्टी सेलर नो इट्स जस्ट अ सेल विच वी कैन डिस्कस एज a cellular thing or an unknown cellular thing viruses are both ne- uh, viruses are both living and non living as they acquire some properties of living members and some not for example uh, we can say that uh, viruses can be killed and even crystallize like table salt however uh, they can't maintain a constant internal state or we can say like uh, they need a they need another host to continue their life cycle so they are non living in uh, outside the cell and become a living entity when they enter inside the cell so viruses basically are uh, perfect definition uh, <coughs> we can give to them is viruses are obligate intracellular parasite as they are totally dependent on host cell for their mechanism for their nutrition for the energy or you can say for their replication viruses uh, as uh, if we see a structure of virus viruses contain of two part then the outer layer and the inner one outer layer is known as capsid and it consists of also viral genome capsid enclose a viral genome viruses lack all the necessary enzymes which for their replication for their energy and for their protein synthesis size of viruses as uh, we know the smallest cell is a bacterial cell in viruses the smallest cell of size smallest size of a virus is 30 nanometer which is much different from a, a single bacterial cell that here you can see that e coli bacteria is 3000 into 10000 1000 nanometer whereas a smallest po- virus particle that is a polio virus is of size 30 nanometer in in viruses the largest virus we can we have seen is a pox virus and next one is ebola virus you can see here 970 nanometer now we can study here viral structure structure of viruses as i have discussed or told you that virus has two parts divided into two parts nucleic acid that is we considered as a genome and second one is capsid that is outer layer here you can see a nucleic acid outer layer is capsid then in some viruses there are outer membrane is present that is known as envelope envelope in envelope there are certain proteins present known as envelope protein and here you can see that is envelope that is a membrane protein and this one is uh, sorry this is one is uh, envelope this is a membrane protein and this one a spike protein so nucleic and capsid mix nucleic and capsid we both together called nucleocapsid and uh, envelope protein we are known as envelope viral envelope uh, the here in detail viral structure a uh, virus consists of these main parts genome it could be the dna or rna capsid it is a protein layer and envelope that is a lipid lipid layer here here you can see the envelope these are surface proteins this is a capsid and this is a genome now we study the parts of a virus in a detail the components of viruses first we will discuss capsid capsid here you can see two structures of viruses like the upper one that is a you can see a ball hexagonal like structure with surf, with some spikes another is a tubular like structure you can see here helical like structure the outermost unit are known as capsomeres capsomeres basically it is uh, the outer layer is of capsid and these capsules are composed of 
capsonia, capsomeres. These are actual protein subunits. So, viral capsid, this is a viral capsid composed of a protein subunits known as capsomeres. Now, come next to envelope viruses. Viruses, I have uh, told you later previously that there are two types of viruses occur in nature that is envelope virus and non envelope virus. Whereas, non envelope virus, uh, we can define them as this only where only nucleocapsid or the energetic material is present. Whereas, envelope virus, where certain outer membrane or certain spikes or glycoproteins are present, are known as envelope virus. Like here, you can see non envelope virus. Here, only you can see a capsid that is outer membrane and the inner one is genetic material that it could be either in the endora or in the genome whereas in envelope virus you can see the outer layer that is envelope on which certain proteins are present these are known as envelope protein envelope is made up of a lipid bilayer then there are certain matrix protein after that you can see a capsid and after that inside you can see a uh, genetic material now nucleic acid uh, nucleic acid as virus is a particle which either contain dna or rna but not together as you have studied in prokaryotic or eukaryotic cell dna and rna both are present together in which dna is in a maximum amount and rna is in a minimum amount but in viruses in virus case only one of genetic material is present it could be the rna or a dna RNA could be a double stranded or single stranded, same wise DNA also could be a single stranded DNA, DNA uh, double stranded. Whereas the genome, uh, then another classification is that genetic material, the, uh, that uh, DNA or RNA, it could be of positive sense and negative sense. Now, what do you understand by positive sense and negative sense? Positive sense, if we consider this statement in regarding to in context to RNA, if viral genome is containing RNA particle, RNA genome material, and that is of positive strain, it can, when it infects the uh, host cell, it can directly act as a messenger RNA, and then it undergo translation and sorry transcription and then translation. Whereas, if the genetic genetic material is negative RNA, then it Firstly, it has to be converted into a positive RNA. Then it can start their transcription and then translation. So, in negative sense RNA or DNA, they must contain an enzyme which can convert that negative strain into a positive one or make this strain, make uh, another strain that is complementary of positive or negative one so that enzyme in rna is rna dependent rna polymerase here you can see the structure of a double stranded rna here you can see that it is an example of an envelope you can see outer membrane is an envelope protein next in the here you can see is matrix next one is a core protein and in a in a one layer is a capsid and that inner side is a double stranded DNA where it is carrying a DNA polymerase enzyme okay uh, the inner the next uh, structure you can see here is a structure of a RNA pro RNA particle where it is an again uh, envelope protein and single stranded DNA is present now come to viruses shape viruses are found in a many different shape like helical complex polyhedral bullet shape coma shaped here you can see a uh, tobacco mosaic virus which is helical in structure t4 bacteriophage which is complex in structure complex is because it is consists of different parts like this middle part is of helical shape uh, la last uh, last part is of fiber shape and the head part is of icosahedral shape now next come is polyhedral virus where certain spikes are present and different triangular structures or vertices are present and this is influenza virus is also a helical structure and an envelope one. Thank you.